Okay guys, I just wanted to get on here real quick and talk a few minutes about the new CNC plans. I have finally got them ready. Uh, wanted to have them ready about two or three weeks ago, but uh, just had some other things come up and you know, so many hours in the day, I guess. So, anyway, I finally got them all done and I want to get on here and talk about them a little bit. I've got a lot of things to, uh, to go over. First of all, um, you know, this design is a much simpler, cleaner design um, than the other plans that I did a couple of years ago. This is going to be much easier to assemble. It also doesn't require any fancy hardware, no dowel nuts, none of that stuff. Just uh, you can pretty much put it together with simple wood screws or deck screws, whatever you want to use. Uh, I don't actually, in the plans, I kind of show hole locations where they go. Um, you know, you don't really have to, I don't really call out any specific size screw, I don't think, in here. So, you know, you can use, you know, you can decide and use what, what you want to use, uh, whatever you can find in your area uh, that's inexpensive. So, um, much easier to assemble. Uh, a lot less expensive for the whole build. This design uh, right here, I hope you, I don't know if you can see this good or not, but this uh, tabletop is designed for a half sheet of plywood or 48 by 48 inch piece of three quarter inch birch plywood. You can see that you can easily make that longer if you wanted to. Uh, you can even make it wider if you wanted to. Uh, you know, all you gotta do is figure out how much wider you want it and add that to the what I have on the plans. Very uh, adaptable as far as the size. Uh, you can even go the other way and shrink it up if you wanted to, if you don't have room for something this big. But uh, I, I started off, I was going to do actually two different sizes, and I thought there's really no need because this is such a simple design that, you know, like I said, with a little simple math, you can make it either smaller or bigger than you want. Uh, okay, I keep looking down here because I got notes in case anybody's wondering. But, uh, you know, like I said, I got one page here. This is the kind of like the master bill of materials. It tells you everything you need, how many of them you need, that kind of thing. Then the other pages of the plans are more broken down into like sub assemblies. Like for example, this is the frame before you put the tabletop on it. Uh, and you'll see different notes on here. You'll see the bill of materials on each part, so you know how much uh, you know how much you need. Uh, as far as notes, there's also things like links, like for example on this one right here, uh, there are links to McMaster Car and to Access Bearings. Whenever you see one of those links on here where it says www.mcmaster.com, that's a live link. So if you open this up in your uh, PDF viewer, you can hover over that and click on it and it'll take you right to uh, McMaster car or access bearings or whatever that link happens to be and of course the part numbers on here are what you can uh, order these for. Uh, I do use a lot of McMaster car parts and all of their part numbers are on here. Also for access bearings uh, Steve with access bearings is going to put together a bearing kit specifically for this machine so if you contact him and say I, I need some bearings for the Dave Gatton CNC, he'll know exactly what you're talking about and he'll have a, a kit price put together for you. That will also be a live link on the PDFs. There's also going to be live links to uh, Dumpster CNC, which is the company that uh, I spec'd out here for the Acme Nuts and the um, uh, couplers. Uh, so that'll be a live link. And Tim at Dumpster CNC has done the same thing. He did this probably two years ago if you go to that uh, site um, and you'll see over on the right side or excuse me the left side there's a thing that says Sidewinder CNC kit well that's an old kit but it's the exact same thing that I'm using for the uh, for this CNC so uh, you can just buy one of those kits uh, you save a little money by buying that kit versus trying to buy them a piece at a time so uh, that and that'll be a live link on here too uh, also, uh, you know, I'm, I've shown in these drawings uh, NEMA 23 motors, uh, uh, stepper motors, and you know, I always recommend the Xylotex kit simply because it's, um, you know, it's very easy. It's plug and play. It's color coded. So for somebody that's brand new to CNC and doesn't really know how to hook up all that electronic stuff, 
that's the way to go because it's really easy and uh, I recommend them. You don't have to buy them, but I'm just saying that's what I always recommend. Uh, also, one of the cool things about the plans, I have done three different sets of plans. And, and by that I mean three different uh, formats as far as units of measure. If you're a guy that likes to read stuff on a tape measure, uh, I've done a set of plans that are going to be in fractional inches or, you know, fractions. Um, to the, and I've set this, the uh, tolerance to the nearest 30 seconds. So, uh, you know, I didn't want to make it too big because then you start getting too many parts that don't fit together right. So I went to the nearest 30 second of an inch, but it's all in fractions. For my metric friends, I have done... Um, a set of plans in metric which will be millimeters uh, and for old school guys like myself who know that 0.125 is 1 8 uh, I've done some in decimal as well so three different uh, sets of plans uh, or types of plans so you can pick whichever one you're most comfortable working in and that's the ones uh, you need to go with uh, let's see what else I've also Every time I do these plans, uh, you know, I always get people wanting to know if I will cut the parts for them. They may, you know, they don't want to, or maybe they just don't have the, the tools to cut them out by hand or don't have anybody around that can cut them out on a CNC form or something like that. I'm going to try to do that this time. Uh, I'm not going to do the really big parts because they are nothing more than a simple uh, straight cut on a table saw or you could use a circular saw with a track saw or some kind of a guide something like that uh, there's nothing fancy about those parts and plus they'd be because of the size of them it would cost a lot more to ship so I'm going to stick to offering the kits for the smaller parts uh, the ones that have the pockets and all the holes laid out and all that I can see and see cut those and offer them as a kit That'll be on the website down below where the, the link is to these plans. So just scroll down there and check that out if you're interested in uh, maybe buying the parts already cut. Uh, another thing I spec out uh, as far as the angle that I use as the guide rails, I spec out aluminum angle. Uh, I do that because it's cheap. It's usually a lot straighter than steel angle, uh, a lot more dimensionally uh, correct as as far as the, the steel uh, but I always get people to say well you know can I use steel versus the other I think aluminum will wear out too fast yeah go ahead and use steel stainless I don't care what you use uh, you know it's all three quarter by three quarter by one eighth angle I'm going to use aluminum just because I've still got a bunch of it here in my shop so uh, I'll be using that and you know it doesn't really wear out that much faster and you know it's not that expensive to replace it anyway so uh, I'm going to go with that. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, okay, one other thing on this master list where I have, you know, every time I do a design, uh, you know, to keep things straight, I always use some kind of a part number, and I'll make up a part number, and then I'll have, you know, then each part will be blah, 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 dash one, dash two, dash three, so on and so forth. Well, I know somebody's probably going to look at that main list and go, wait a minute, you left off 13 because uh, it goes from dash 12 to a dash 14. I never use a dash 13 when I do plans, so the 13 is missing on purpose. Um, anyway, I guess that's going to do it. I, I've gone down through my list here. I think I've covered everything. If you got any questions, shoot me an email. Let me know what your question is. Uh, you'll be able to find these plans. Uh, on the www.cncsidewinder.com website. Go to the main page and there'll be a, a link right at the top of the page showing you how to get to the page that has these plans and or the, the parts kits. So that's going to do it. I appreciate all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys that have been uh, you know, asking me about these plans. I've had people asking me about these plans for two, three, four weeks now. So I appreciate y'all being patient with me to get them done. Uh, but I finally made it. They're done. They're ready to go. So by the time you uh, watch this video, they'll be on the website. And like I said, I appreciate all my new subscribers. And thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.